Welcome to 3176 Via Viganello. We're going to take you on a tour of this great 5,000 square foot home. When you first enter the house, you're going to notice the front door is about eight feet tall. And as soon as you come in, you're going to see views of the living room, one of the first of six bedrooms within the house, and a great view of the spiral staircase. So come on in and I'll show you those each as we take our tour. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the living room. This is a very large living room space with six windows for a lot of natural light that comes into this room. You're also going to find two large entryways so that you can come and go from any point and you won't get stuck in this room behind furniture or people having a good time in your living space. We're currently using this room as a craft room and there has been a lot of room for things like books and activities while living in this house. Next, we're gonna take a look at uh, one of our first bedrooms that we mentioned at the front of the house on the other side of the hallway. So this is the first bedroom that we're gonna take a look at today, uh, one of six. This is the front bedroom, or as we used it as an office. We like this space specifically because it has two large windows that let you see the street or anybody coming up your walkway if you need to sign up for a package or you have somebody coming over that you're expecting, it's a great way to say, hey, there they are. Uh, it lets a lot of natural light come in, especially in the afternoon. It's a very warm room that uh, has its own full uh, bathroom with its own toilet, sink, and shower. It's also got a double sliding door closet for anything you might need to put in there. It's a, compared to some of the other bedrooms in the house, it's not the largest, but it's not small by any means. As every room in this house on the first floor has, it's got 10 foot ceilings and fixtures for things like uh, lights. It's got a light switch uh, built into the wall as well as its own sprinkler systems. So one of the first few things that you see when you enter the front door is this spiral staircase. It's a great sort of centerpiece of the house. It's definitely something to show off as you uh, invite guests over, or it's one of the first things that people notice when they come in. Something that we've often done is actually put decorations, Christmas trees and the like, in the center of the staircase and gone right up the top to uh, just show how tall this section of the house is. In fact, if you wanted to create even more sort of upward looking decoration in this room, it even has a spot for a chandelier, which you can install. The electricity and mounting points are already there. Our next room is going to be the formal dining room. Uh, this is a room that we had seating for eight for for formal occasions like holidays and guests. In this room, you'll find places for your china with a custom built in china closet. Uh, this room has two large windows to allow natural light in once again with a view of the side of the house as well as the putting green, which we will see in a few minutes. This is another room with built-in space for a chandelier or hanging light. And uh, it also has the high ceilings as well as the uh, fire suppression system for just in case that turkey dinner goes up while you're eating. Adjacent to that dining room, we have the first hallway that leads us to a few extra rooms in the house. First off is this hallway closet, great for coats and things of that nature. Uh, then we've got our first and only half bath in the house. Uh, this is great for if you're in the kitchen or if you are coming in from the garage, which is this door here. Uh, this hallway leads to our butler's pantry and then to our kitchen. We also have a, another small closet here, great for things like brooms, mops, etc. This is actually underneath our second staircase, which we'll show you in a minute. Uh, this is the door to the three car garage and this back door here leads us into our next bedroom. So come along as we check that one out. So for our second bedroom, we've got a fairly large living space. In this one, we've got our queen bed. This is, was often used as a guest bed or if we had family or relatives over, that's what this room was used for. It's got its own uh, big bathroom. Once again, full bathroom with its own shower and toilet and sink. 
What's thing special about this bedroom, other than the first, is it's got its own walk-in closet. It's got a lot of closet space in here for being more or less a guest room, at least when we use it. Uh, it's got its, obviously, its own light switches, and it's got uh, power in many different spaces, as well as its own phone jack, which you could maybe use as a data port if you wanted wired internet in this room. Uh, so that's pretty much it for all the downstairs bedrooms. We're going to show you the garage and the kitchen next. So as I mentioned in the other room, it is adjacent to our three-car garage, or what could be your three-car garage. Great if you have three cars, or if you want to use the third space for something like what we did as a workshop for fixing up things in the house. It's really up to you. It's great to have a really big garage for just about anything you can think of. So we've installed a 50 amp circuit breaker as well as a receptacle because our long driveway here allowed us to use our over 35 foot motorhome to easily fit in the front of the house. So if you have an RV, this is a perfect place to get ready for a trip of your own and charge your motorhome at the same time. So right on the other side of the hall from the three car garage is the butler's pantry, or what we use it for is to drop off things like keys and phones at the end of the day, as well as a stellar coffee bar. We have our Keurig in here, and if you're a coffee aficionado, this is a great room to have all your different flavors. We also use it for our coat and shoe and hat storage room. So when you come in from the end of a hardworking day, flip off your shoes, this is a great spot to store those as well. This is the family room. This is where we did most of the TV watching in this house. And uh, it's got a lot of space for just that. We've got a huge built-in that was made specifically for the space here with room for an, about a 55 inch TV to go directly into it. Uh, we've got a large fireplace with glass doors as well as an area for your couch or whatever you might wanna put in here. Uh, there's definitely a lot of room to make this your own. The ceilings, again, are 10 foot, just like everywhere downstairs, and there's even another fixture for a light or ceiling fan for this room built into the ceiling. You've got even more spaces for the uh, fire system with the sprinklers built in, and uh, it's immediately adjacent to the kitchen, which is what we're going to check out now. One last thing before we check out the kitchen is look at this view you get from your own couch in this family room. You can see all the way out to Otai Lake from here. And with the view of the beautiful backyard that you've got, this is definitely a room worth spending some time in. Right next to our family room, we've got the kitchen. And from its six burner stove to its double decker ovens, this is definitely a kitchen for parties and events if you're the type of person that wants to host a lot of people. You've got two separate islands and a very large GE monogram uh, refrigerator that's built into the kitchen. You've also got a large microwave as well as the dishwasher built right into the cabinetry. Everything looks flush, everything matches, and to finish it all off, you've got beautiful light uh, granite countertops that really make the whole room pop. It's a very bright room with a lot of light that comes in in the afternoons that it is right now. But if that's not enough, there are quite a number of, of light fixtures uh, that can all be accessed from multiple points in the room, allowing for enough light to do whatever work you need to be doing here in the kitchen. This is the breakfast nook, immediately adjacent to the kitchen. This is a great place for a meal of the day or to just hang out with your family and friends. It's got another really big uh, built-in that was put in here specifically for this space with a lot of room for display and storage. It's even got a small desk area with complete hookups for both power and networking if you want to put something like a laptop here to work at. It's got some space for artwork on the wall and it's even got its own door to the backyard, which will be coming up next. So as we step outside of either back door, we're greeted with a custom patio that has its own uh, custom pattern and stain on it that really sort of matches the outside of the house. Uh, both backyard doors have this style patio and they both lead to one of several different outdoor activity areas 
The first of which we're going to show you is the putting and chipping area, right this way. So if you've ever wanted your own four hole golf course, this is probably going to be the closest thing that we can offer you here. This is a four hole uh, putting course and from either the chipping area or the putting area that is illuminated by a three light old European style street light that have been custom put in in the backyard and those can be turned on by either from inside the house or as we'll show you in a second the pool and spa. So if you're that kind of person that wants to get their uh, practice in this is a great side of the house for you to do so. So next on our list of outdoor activities, we've got the pool. At its deepest point, it's six feet, so if you want to do some cannonballs on a hot day, you absolutely can. This is a great spot for you just to sit down, relax on a hot day, and uh, kick back with family and friends. Or if you want to really make things hot, you've got a, the hot tub, which is a great place to view uh, Mount Miguel, the Yotai uh, Reservoir, as well as the Yotai Range behind it. This has some of the best views in Chula Vista right from the backyard, and it's a beautiful place to do so in your own pool. This is the outdoor living room. Immediately next to the pool and everything else in the backyard, you have a place to serve food for your friends, your family, an amazing outdoor eating area with a complete dining set. You've got your outdoor kitchen with a barbecue, a gas burner, as well as a sink and a mini fridge built in to the counter. It's got its own gas uh, fireplace here that puts its smoke away from the party, so you're not worried about that. And just about everywhere that you need, either a hose spigot or an electrical outlet for things like lights and watering your garden, you've got it as there are a number of different areas around the uh, backyard that there has been custom put in both electrical and hose spigots for your convenience. This is an amazing spot to, to host parties, barbecues, anything you can imagine uh, out here in the sun, especially on a nice San Diego day. And built right into this cover is some really nice hanging lights for when it starts to get dark and a convenient light switch built right in. So the second of our two staircases leads directly up from the kitchen and will lead you straight into one of the bedrooms that we're going to check out now, which is one of our two master bedrooms in the house. In any other house, this would be considered a master bedroom of its own with enough room for a king or queen bed, a desk, a dresser, a walk-in closet, and its own master bathroom, once again, with its own sink, toilet, and standing shower. The only thing this thing room doesn't have is probably a tub, and uh, that you'll have to find in one of our upcoming rooms as we traverse the other rooms of the upstairs of the house. This is the upstairs hallway, connecting everything upstairs from the bedroom that we just saw the stairway leading up from the kitchen, the laundry room, and what we're going to show you now is the, another bedroom. Also, we'd like to take note the built-ins custom made for being up here in this hallway. Perfect for things like linens, uh, things that you might have use for in the bedrooms. It's another just great extra storage that has been purpose-built for this space. So let's check out this last bedroom on the left. Yet another one of our bedrooms. This is one of, again, six bedrooms in this house. On the upstairs, this has uh, got its own uh, bad bathroom with its own full shower, a uh, room for beds, obviously, as it is a bedroom, and a triple wide sliding door closet. It's got about as much space in this closet as a walk-in uh, without needing of all the depth. So. If you have somebody that has a lot of clothes or something like that, this is a pretty nice room for them to be in. Now, conveniently, the laundry room is located upstairs where the majority of the bedrooms are. Uh, we've got our own kitchen and even more storage for things like detergents and things of that nature. So it's really easy to get your laundry from your rooms into the laundry room uh, right next to where they're located upstairs. Yet another upstairs bedroom, this time where it was used once as a weight room. It's got its own twin closet here, not a walk-in, but still fairly large size, and it shares a bathroom with the theater room, which we're gonna see coming up next. One of the last rooms before we take you to the master bedroom is possibly one of the most 
interesting in the room. This is the theater room, sporting two level seating, 120 inch HD projection screen, and 5.1 surround sound with a massive subwoofer in the back. All of this in a space of your own. You'll never have to go to the movies again because this room really makes you feel like you're there with the ability to pause for bathroom breaks or the like. This is an amazing spot and a great way to show off to your friends if you're really into movies. So if natural uh, beauty is something that you'd rather see, well, right outside your theater room, you've got another great view of the mountains just above the house. So anywhere you look, you pretty much have a great view from every room. This is the master bedroom. The biggest bedroom in the house obviously has to have a king size bed and this has ample room for anything you can imagine. You've got, as if you've been paying attention, crown molding in every room. So if you caught that, good job. All the upstairs floors all have nine foot ceilings and in this room, you also have a space for another ceiling fan or light fixture built directly in. To my left, we've got the view of outside with the lake in view through the French doors and an outside balcony. Great access for a great morning. You can get up, you can see it, you can have your cup of coffee, or if you like fireworks, every July 4th, you can actually see the fireworks show right off the lake. So it's a very special place with a very special view. Coming out of the bedroom, we've got not one, but two full walk-in closets. These rooms are big enough to be small apartments in some cities, but you have them all to yourself here in the master bedroom. Let's take a look at the uh, bathroom now and see a little bit about what the master bed's bathroom has to offer. So this is the last bathroom we're gonna show you in this tour. This is the master bath, and it is amazing with what it has in it. A soaking tub with a view, a shower built for two, and his and her sinks with a makeup area and desk in the middle for anything that you might need that for. This is a large enough space where if you have somebody using up an area or a sink and you wanna find your way around them, you're gonna have no problem sharing this space with someone else if that's what you need to do. Uh, it's obviously got its own bathroom and in this case, it's a private bathroom where the toilets actually shut off from the rest of the space, giving you the privacy that you probably enjoy. Well, thanks for taking this tour of 3176 Via Viganello. Uh, you can call this number and talk to our real estate agent if you're interested in seeing the house in real life. Uh, leave a comment down below if you liked this type of walkthrough. Maybe we can do something like this for you uh, if you're interested. But uh, we hope to see you doing a real live walkthrough in the near future. So thanks for your interest and hope you have a great day.